Good morning, folks. We are watching a plasma filament stretch longitudinally dance across the eastern limb that will face Earth in a few days. The last 24 hours of space weather offered things to see on the star itself, back here at Earth, and in the telemetry. We'll also get a nice little chance to laugh at my funny troubles towards the end of the video. But let's work before play. Coming to spaceweathernews.com, we find the last 24 hours on our star offering one CME on the Earth-facing disk. Same incoming southern active region as before. And due to its position on the disk, with a sprinkle of Earth's orbit taking it further to the right, so to speak, it is unlikely to make significant geoeffective impact. The flaring continued to hit M-class range, but not as high as before. No more waiting, folks. The test of the Earth-facing quiet begins today. Will the sunspots prevail given the oversight of multiple planetary geometries, or will the march towards solar grand minimum stagger onward? I'll tell you this much, that's a mighty Delta-class area right there. Solar wind was relatively calm, but the few density and speed fluctuations also presented quick flip fly shifts so that we're continuing to drive instability in our shield and actually registered a level 3 disruption on the Q index at Karuna. You can see the Corona hole up north is going to face Earth today, so tonight the earthquake watch index will break back up into alert territory. Top news story today is actually a non-news story. You remember the paper, the one sparking Super Earth, Brown Dwarf Binary, and Nibiru chatter some days ago? It has been withdrawn according to viable sources. The author withdrew the paper after certain results were unable to be reproduced. This actually makes focus on that area of space just as important. It is for the mainstream because they need to know what happened where it was detected twice and then not at all. It's also important for the observers as the last hypothesis offered about non-planetoid options for what they've detected included them disappearing every once in a while. Top weather news begins in the United States where indeed Mother Earth spanked you guys good down in the Gulf states. Awesome looking low pressure earth spot dropped some not so awesome weather on Mississippi. More than 20 tornadoes were reported. So folks, I've spent three days thinking that our conference website was lost. The company EventJoy was bought by another company, and all event sites just disappeared the other day. So, of course, right about the time I finished building a new one, link up market capabilities, etc., the site magically returns. Somebody go there and then say something nice to me so I don't feel like I wasted my time. Also, folks, we've got upgrades in progress at suspiciousobservers.org. Now, when you click on the premium button, the page comes here. And the first thing to be noticed is that, yes, the conference videos have begun posting to the members' content. Right now, my and Kong Pop's first talks are on there, plus the full eight and a half hour video at the bottom. I will be adding more individual ones throughout the week. Also, folks, in the Deeper Look section, we added episodes 99 and 100 yesterday. Still got a couple more in mind before we reset for the new year. A look at how the East and West will be feeling it throughout the day today in the U.S. We got more storms on deck for flood-smashed U.K. and the monsoon in Northern Australia churning itself up slowly now. We've also got some shots of our star to close. It's 6.20 a.m. Eastern Time, and that's the news. Eyes open. No fear. Be safe, everyone.